Consuming a large share of the training time was the Apollo Command Module Simulator. Here, Prime Crew astronauts Stafford, Slayton, and Brand shared rendezvous assignments with their Russian counterparts, Leonov and Kubasov. Rendezvous procedures received major emphasis throughout the training period. In this session, a mock-up of the command module provided a classroom setting for familiarizing cosmonauts in switch location, equipment operation, and stowage in Apollo. A Soyuz mock-up, joined to that of a docking module, provided for instruction in crew transfer procedures. Anatoly Filipchenko, along with backup crewmate Nikolai Rukovishnikov, prepared for transfer to the docking module. Deke Slayton entered the module from the Apollo end. Even in practice, the meeting of spacemen of two nations had a dramatic quality, a preview of a coming historical event. Soyuz Apollo, Riom. Roger. Yeah, Soyuz Apollo, NCC, Weponian. Nachinayu, Ismerinia, Delnos, Riom. I understand you, NCC completed it. You are initiating the, uh, the ASTP mission, unique in many respects, finds its most obvious distinction in the duality of language. Here, both Russian and English got a thorough workout as flight crews transmitted from separate rooms, rendezvous, transfer, and undocking timelines. General Vladimir Shatalov, chief of cosmonaut training in the USSR, critiqued the language session. Soyuz Apollon, yes, Zavi Sanya Apollona. I understand you, Tom. A weekend in San Antonio, site of the historic Alamo, was one of several social outings that provided relief from a rigorous work schedule. But for the visitors, even social events had training value. The places they went, the people they met during their three-week visit were a good index to life, language, and customs, a la Americana. The cosmonauts are scheduled for one more training session in the United States in February, which will include a trip to the launch site. <laughs> 